Hello everyone, welcome back. So when it comes to Java interview question, array is one of the important topic. And we have a lot of different programs. The one which we're gonna talk about, let's say I have an array. It's an integer array and I have 10 elements in it. So basically what I'm trying to do is, I want to create a new array which will give you the reverse order of the same array which we are already having it. And another important thing, Whenever this question comes up, people will simply say, I can create a for loop, which will decrement and then I can add the element into it. That is not the efficient way of programming. So how we can do it? We can use the index and the positioning. So let's see how we can do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new method here. So I'm going to call them as a reverse array and I need to pass two inputs. The first one is array and then arrays dot length let we can finish it in a simple uh, three steps okay let's create the method here create a method okay so now we have a method which accepts the our array and the the length of the array the first thing which we need to step one create a new array so int this is a array which gonna contains a new element so i mean the reverse order so is equal to new and the first thing which we need to de define how many elements you need to provide inside the integer array. So we have the length of the existing, right? So when you're, even though if you're reversing, the elements count is going to be the same. So I'm gonna provide the length, which means I'm gonna create an array with 10 elements in it. And the next thing, I'm gonna create a temporary variable here, which will take in the position. The first position is going to be the last element from the previous array, I mean normal array, which is a length. For example, the length is 10. So basically what we are trying to do is here, we are just taking the 10th element and we are placing it in the first position. So taking the element and keeping it in the another position. So positioning is matters here. So first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply create a for loop here and which will take int i and less than r is equal to the length. Sorry. So here we are going to pass the length here. Okay, so the next thing. So now I need to assign the new array values. So new array. So what is the element? The first element I'm gonna place it here, which is going to be the last element from the original array. So what I'm gonna do? So we know what the element, right? The length will give you the last element. So I'm gonna provide the length here. So which is stored in the J. Okay, so J contains 10 because that is the length. But when it comes to uh, arrays, I mean uh, index and length, the 10th elements become the 9th index okay because when it talked about uh, length it will start from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and when it talk about the index it start from 0 so which means the 10th elements becomes the 9th index so what i can do new array of j which is a 10 minus 1 that is the last element okay so the value i'm going to take it from array of l value sorry okay and then what i need to do the one important thing which we need to do uh, decrementing the j so so we can get the the next previous element so this is basically like a sample of i'm taking a new array and the position of ninth the index position and then i'm taking the array of first so that is how we are doing it so i'm taking i'm assigning the ninth position for the array first data Got it? Okay. So next thing, what are we going to do? Decrementing. And then finally, what I need to do, just simply print the data. That's all we need, right? So this is out here. And I'm going to create a array start to string. Start to string. And I'm going to pass our string to it. I mean, our array. So which is a new array. So which will give you the outcome. So now all we need to do, just run it. So just this is the important thing. So this is step one step one and this is the step two and finally this is the most important step which is step three so i'm taking the ninth element and i'm play replacing the first element which is coming the original array so now let's run this code and we'll see what is the outcome see now we got 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so the same array which is a in a reverse order okay and this is the efficient way of reversing an array so let's meet in the next interview question thank you